True Beauty Forever here and today I am doing a one brand makeup tutorial using all Wet n Wild products. Hold up real quick. There's, there's two exceptions. The only exception is my eyebrows. That's the only thing. And the primer. I did not use Wet n Wild primer. I didn't get any eyebrow stuff from them because they don't make really any black eyebrow products and I don't mean like African American. I mean like the color black. I like my brows to be black and they didn't really have any from what I saw. If you do find some, let me know and I'll try it out. And this is the look that I came up with. And this is, you know, super affordable look because this is all drugstore, very affordable, wet and wild stuff. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this look as well as giving you my opinions on if these products are worth your coin or not, because even though it's affordable, needs to still be worth that coin. Alrighty, so if you're interested to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Alrighty gang, let's do this. So we're gonna be using Take On The Day Eyeshadow Primer. This gets matte AF, AF, AF. Taking that, squeezing it on the back of my hand, spreading it out, and then applying it. This is so matte. This is not for the faint of heart. I have oily eyelids, so I think it works perfect for me. But honey, if you have dry eyelids, I would not recommend this at all. Okay, so to set my eyes, instead of using eyeshadow, I'm gonna use some mattifying primer, or mattifying powder in Take On The Day. I'm not sure how to feel about this. It feels like I'm kind of doing nothing. Well, my eyes are mattified, so gotta give them props I guess so I want to try this is the art in the streets palette I'm gonna take the orange shade and put that in my crease to kind of warm up my crease some and I'm using a pointed morphe brush morphe crease brush um usually people like say how pigmented their colors are I feel like this one needs a little bit of a build up. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't like that mattifying powder. I don't know. But this isn't like mind blowing like, oh my God, this is so pigmented. But this is just a transition color. So it doesn't need to be too pigmented. Next I'm gonna take this color right here and add it to the crease as well just smoke it out a little bit and I'm gonna add it down in the outer V dang uh, this is pretty much black down here <laughs> that's crazy this is the Au Naturel palette I find that this is a lot more pigmented than this art in the streets I feel like my shadows look very messy right now, but we'll fix it. We're gonna take this Wet n Wild blending brush and just blend that a little bit more so it's a little bit cleaner than what it is right now. I feel like I definitely need a shimmery color from this palette on Lilid because I feel like all the other mattes are gonna be too light for my skin tone for it to really work that nicely. I'm gonna take this pinky one right here and apply that with this flat eyeshadow brush from Wet n Wild. Ooh, very pretty. But it could use a little work in regards to the pigmentation. I can kind of see my skin through it. Maybe I should try a little uh, setting spray to make it more pigmented like it looks pigmented but you can see your skin through it which to me is not acceptable so I'm gonna just use this wet n wild photo focus setting spray and spray the brush leave that dampness will make it more kind of foiled and more pigmented oh yeah oh yeah yes that definitely did the trick. Going back into that burgundy shade and just blending. These shades also have a lot of fallout too. 
So for the inner tear duct, I think I want to try this shade right here because it's got like a mauve pinkness to it. This one right here. Since we have a bunch of shimmer going on in the lid part, we need to break it up with a little bit of matte. I think, anyways. So this is the eye so far. These shadows kind of have more like a frosty shimmer to them than a just normal shimmer in my opinion. So I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. It looks like this. It's actually a really good liner. Here's the applicator. So my I'm having a bad liner day. Maybe this is just like a bad makeup day for me. Good foundation day though. I'm gonna use a powder brush to try to get rid of some of this fallout because I already did my foundation and concealer. I have not had this much fallout in a long time. Okay, so now I'm gonna need the brow bone for a little bit of highlight. I'm gonna take this color and I'm gonna blend it out like tremendously because this is very light, but I feel like I need something underneath here. And I'm gonna just blend it downwards into the crease. This takes me back to my like first days of wearing makeup when I would put this on underneath because I saw all the fair skin gurus doing it and I thought that that was like a universal thing and then I just leave it super stark and it was embarrassing. To contour, they don't make contour products for my skin tone. I checked. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a sh take this ashy gray brown and try to contour with it and we'll just see what happens. I'm gonna take this BH Cosmetics blush brush. Oh dear. Oh dear God. Okay. It's coming out to not right. So I am gonna use Black Radiance powder to contour with. So now on to blush. I was thinking this apricot one, but it's got shimmers in it and I've already got too much shimmer going on on my face. I'm gonna take my favorite blush in the whole world, which is Mellow Wine. If you didn't know, Wet n Wild makes my favorite blushes. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna take a Sedona Lace blush brush. This is my favorite blush brush. And I'm just going to apply that onto my cheekbones. All right, now I have a ton of highlighter options. I have a lot of these Wet n Wild and Fergie collection. I have the Crown of My Canopies and Precious Petals. I even have their Rainbow Highlighter. I think I'm gonna try a little bit of this one. This is an exact dupe for Champagne Pop, no shade to Jaclyn Hill, um, but this is just a cheaper version of it. This is called Hollywood Boulevard. I am going to try using this dual fiber brush, but I highly doubt that I will be satisfied with it. That's a heavy ass application. Yes. I know I look like I have a golden mustache on my lips. That's okay, we'll, we'll take care of it in a second. But I think I also wanna use Precious Petals and I'm gonna be using a Morphe fan brush. Bam, bam. So for my lips, I think I wanna to mix together Berry Recognize and Give Me Mocha. We'll see how that looks. Even though this is one of my favorite nude liquid lipsticks, this is my one problem with this. This is one shade. Look how sheer that is. Mm, I don't know if I wanna put any Berry Recognize now. This is really cute. Let's see. The two together is pretty cute too. Mm, okay. 
we are going to do setting spray and then mascara just because i don't want the mascara to run on my hard work so we're going to be using this wet n wild setting spray i like this but it smells like toilet water so i don't use it that off it works really well too so And for the mascara, we're going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. Okay, so we're going to try this out. I like how small the bristles are. The tinier, the better to me because that allows me to have more control. Bruh. Why'd this just happen to me? Why? I was just talking about how it allows for control. But that's my fault, you guys. Not their fault. So overall, I liked all of the products that I used. However, I mean, this isn't a bad palette, but you just have to really work to get the pigment it should be. And for $10, it's not that bad of a palette. This other one that I used, where the F is it? This one was like $4, so it's not a bad price point for these. But they're not bad palettes, especially like if you're just starting out in makeup, or you know you're in high school or something and you don't have much money there there you could produce some good looks with them as you could see here all of the other makeup I'm pretty pleased with so I hope you guys enjoyed the look that I came up with let me know what other one brand tutorials you would like to see in the comments down below make sure you give this a thumbs up and definitely subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future content leave me a comment show me some love you know I love the love I really appreciate you guys and all your support and I We'll see you next time. Oopsies. Had eye day. Had nice brows though. I think for the rest, for the, I also, bleh. Okay. So, what am I gonna use? Oh! Ooh. She's honking at it.